Dave Palumbo here for another RX Muscle rant. And this week's topic is guest posers and Olympia competitors. And I guess we can kind of, we have a weird meshing of two different guys who guest posed this past weekend, both to fanfare and to a lot of hype and talk. And that's Kevin Lavroni and Kai Green. Now, Kevin Lavroni obviously set up a lot of guest posing after his, you know, uh, I guess anticipated return to the Olympia stage after 13 years, being retired at the age of 52. And, you know, obviously, Lavroni did not do as well as we all expected. I know I, I, I have eaten crow already about saying that I thought Lavroni was going to win the Olympia. Uh, we hadn't seen his legs. Now he kind of blew up a little bit after the Olympia, and he's looking a little fuller. And people are like, he's making the comeback. His legs are coming back. Now he's going to start squatting. To me, he still doesn't look that good. You know, I, he looks like he's a, a good fifty, you know, two year old competitor. He doesn't look like you know a world class bodybuilder to me. Uh, even his upper body, which has certainly filled out a lot since the Olympia, he still looks like I said, like a guy who just got a good good shape, you know, good structure. You can see at one point he was a good bodybuilder. Um, he's got a couple of good shots. That obviously that side uh, most muscular shot is is still pretty good, but the legs just. Don't – I mean, he almost looks like, dare I say, like he doesn't train him. You know, I, I think if I was going to go to the gym and squat for two weeks, I think my legs would look better than that. Um, I know he's got some knee problems. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to start squatting again, uh, given the PRP treatments he's had. But the the irony of the whole thing is that Kevin Guest posed this past weekend. Obviously, people love to see Kevin Lavroni. He did the Olympia this year. And then on the other side of the globe, in India – at the Sheru Classic in Mumbai, we see Kai Green guest posing. And Kai Green looks incredible, you know, as Kai always does. He's not in contest shape, of course, but he's he's just wacky looking. Uh, when you watch him do his routine, you just see why he's one of the best entertainers in all bodybuilding, maybe of all time. Um, he's unconventional. He moves in interesting ways that other bodybuilders don't move. He does unconventional poses which is what you know makes him an artist in a sense, and I and I think that it's interesting that here's one of the best poses in the sport who's still packing probably the most muscle per square inch on his body, and the guy hasn't done the Mr. Olympia contest for two years. Meanwhile, Kevin Lavroni, who's got no legs, is is doing the Mr. Olympia contest. To me, it's just what's wrong with the sport right here? What's going on? How come we can't get this guy who brought a country to its knees? If you look at the response when Johnny puts this the uh, the final footage up there. I mean, they were going crazy in India. Why can't we get this guy in the Olympia stage? I can't believe that we can't sit down with this guy and have a mediation and figure out how to get this guy back on the Olympia stage. Because let's face it, at 42 years old, whatever he is, how many more years does he have left? You know, to compete. You know, at the top level of his you know abilities, because he's going to start to decline eventually, and he might have he might be declining already. You know, they always say. You know, you don't notice you have lost your hair in your head until you've lost 50% of it already. So he might have – I'm sure he's on the decline already, but you haven't noticed it yet because he's just that good. But why can't we get this guy on the Olympia stage? I don't. I mean, come on. I mean, look at him climb that, that scaffold. He looks like uh, King Kong from the King Kong movie climbing uh, the World Trade Center. I mean, this is what we need in bodybuilding. This is exciting. Kai Green is an exciting bodybuilder. He's got a ton of muscle. He's got crowd appeal. He's got almost the, probably the most followers of anyone in any social media in bodybuilding. He's, you know, appearing in mainstream type stuff. This guy has got to get back on the Olympia stage. That means that whoever runs the Olympia and the powers that be need to sit down with Kai, his people, his lawyer, his whoever runs his career for him and negotiate what the problem is and work it out. Because you know who's suffering? The fans. Us, the fans. I'm a fan. I watch the shows. I watch the Mr. Olympia. I want to see the best competitors up on stage. And people ask me how Kai Green would have done if he would have been on the Olympia stage. And my answer is I don't know. Because until we see him up on that stage standing next to these guys, you can't make a prediction. But there's a pretty good good chance that he would be in the top two because he's been there before. And he, he looks pretty close to you know the way he's looked in years past. He won the Arnold Classic, granted, by a hair. But Cedric McMillan was probably the best we'd ever seen him. So um, the fact that you know it was that close between him and Cedric is meaningless because Cedric is a top-tier 
you know, pro. Uh, I want to see Kaya back on that stage. I, I know that there's some kind of conflict there in terms of egos and uh, people feeling like their feelings have been hurt and this one doesn't want to give that and that one doesn't give this. But let's face it, after all is said and done, in 10 years from now, we're going to look back and we're going to say, why couldn't we make this happen? God damn it. Look at this guy. Look at him. We got Kevin Laroni has to bring people in, in, into their chairs in the Olympia with no legs. Why can't Kai Green, who's got a complete physique, he won three Arnold Classics last year, why can't we get him on the Olympia stage? I say let's make it happen.